These 10 phones here are able to generate me a passive income every single month. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to set up your own passive earning phones and more importantly, if this method is for you. So let's get right into it. So what is this method? Well, it's something called Varus Mining. The overall concept is very simple. You'll have a bunch of mobile devices mining away at a cryptocurrency called Varus, which of course you can exchange your Varus for other cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin or simply just convert it to your local fiat currency. So how profitable is Varus Mining and how viable is it? Well, let's go ahead and hop over to the PC and let's figure this out. So bringing out the profitability calculator, let's input our stats. Keep in mind, my numbers will be different from yours, so make sure you input your own accurate numbers. So our phone averages about 3.8 mega hashes per second and draws about 5 watts of electricity. My electric rate currently sits around 8 cents Canadian per kilowatt hour and fees include a 5% pool fee with an additional 0.85% minor fee. The only thing you have to input differently here is your electric rate, the mega hashes per second and the watts drawn, assuming you will be using the same pool as I do. So with these inputs, I'm expecting to make around 5 cents in total profit per phone per day, or $1.50 per month with one device. And with the 100 phones I do have, that would mean $150 per month. So with these stats in mind, is it even viable to set up a mobile mining farm? Assuming you have no phones, let's use the most common phone recommended for various mining, which is the Samsung AO3S. On Amazon.com, you can pick one up for about $70. Now, assuming the price of Varus stays where it is, you will ROI on your phone after 46.6 months or about 3.9 years. So here's the verdict. In my honest opinion, I don't believe it's worth buying phones just with the sole intention of mining Varus. So if you don't already have phones, make sure you check out this video in the card above so you can see what other options you have in terms of starting a phone farm. However, if you already have phones laying around like I do, here's why you might actually want to consider mining Varus. So currently Varus sits at a price of around three and a half dollars, which is an amazing run for anyone who got into Varus mining earlier. Shout out to you guys, by the way. Now at these prices, the profitability is actually quite decent in terms of mobile mining. Now I just want to point out that at the time of this recording right now, you guys still have potentially a huge opportunity right in front of you. So what is this opportunity you might ask? Well, it's something called the crypto bull run. So if you don't already know, here is the premise. Crypto will go through a four year cycle where each cycle results in higher prices. Well, at least for Bitcoin. But along with Bitcoin, other coins such as Ferris also have the chance to catch some of these gains. So don't be mistaken here, the price of Ferris won't last long. In my opinion, and this is not financial advice whatsoever, but I do see Varus having a good chance of continuing its move up within the next couple months. So mining with phones you already have laying around could be even more profitable than today's calculation, assuming you hold onto those coins for a few more months and sell into the run up. All right, so if you're still here, you're probably ready to mine some Varus. Now I'm about to save you guys a ridiculous amount of time and headache during your setup, so you definitely don't wanna miss this. So here's the two biggest tips I can give you guys so that you don't spend hours trying to set this up. Number one, your device has to have a 64-bit ROM. So if you have a device like this Moto G Peer or Moto G Play, you guys will only have a 32-bit ROM, meaning it would be impossible to install your mining software. So before you do anything, make sure you verify your devices to ensure they have a 64-bit ROM. Number two, you don't need to have a Google account on every single phone. Just skip through the whole Google account creation process and download the app directly to your phone from a laptop or PC, which I will show you how to do right now. So first up, you'll need a Varus wallet, which can be obtained by downloading the app Varus Mobile on the Play Store. I did this on my personal phone so I can easily manage my balance. Once downloaded, follow the setup instructions and you will have a functioning Varus wallet. This is where you will receive your mining rewards. Keep in mind, you only have to do this once as multiple phones can send rewards to the same wallet. Next up, you will need to email yourself the Varus wallet address and save it to your desktop or laptop as a text file using Notepad. You'll need this in a little bit. 
Now grab your mining phone and make sure it has the always on setting activated. You can activate this setting by going into about phone, then tap the build number seven times. Next, find the developer options and toggle the always on setting. Once you've done that, we are going to go ahead and plug the mining phone into either a laptop or PC. Once connected, you'll need to select the first link in the description of the video and you'll be brought over to a site like this. Locate the section labeled Latest App APK. Click on that and you should see this page here. Then you will need to click View Raw and that should start a download. I would recommend creating a new folder on the desktop to keep the APK files and the text file for better organization. Once you have the download, drag and drop both the APK file and the text file containing your wallet address into the mining phone's downloads folder. Now for the final steps, on your phone, open downloads and install the app like so. Here you should also copy your various wallet address through the txt file. Now once you have the app opened, you'll need to fill out the settings. For settings name, just leave that on default. For the minor name section, feel free to add any name you'd like. Then select 8 for CPU unless you have a different number of cores for your phone. For wallet address, go ahead and paste in your wallet address that we copied earlier. For Stratum server, I use pool.verus.io 9998. Make sure your host and your port match the Stratum server inputs. You can ignore everything else, just save the settings and you're ready to mine. To start your miner, just head over to the mining tab and select start like so. Put the phone on charge and give it a few minutes and you should see the device mining away. It will take a few hours before you see any rewards come into the wallet, so do be patient. Also another quick tip for you guys, you can use the Varus Community Pool website to view all your active miners. This will be the second link in the description. Simply paste your wallet address into the miner lookup section and you can see all of your stats. And lastly, make sure you keep your mining phones nice and cool because that will impact your earnings drastically. Now, if you guys want to generate even more passive income, this time with a lot less work, then you guys are going to want to check out this video right over here. I'll see you there.